Hello my friends and welcome back to another episode of Flutter News. Today we will make a very short news zip episode where we talk about Dart null safety checks, about the Flutter Studio from Rody Davis, about a package of the week and the code pen of the week. Now let's get started. Philip Harcheck and Michael Thompson created a nice medium article about the announcing of sound null safety. This is just a technical preview yet, but still we can use it already. In the article, the, they explain why you need null safety, what a sound null safety system is, some design principles if you want to work with null safety checks, declaring variables and so on and so forth. Additionally, they also bring us a possibility to try it out ourselves in nullsafety.dartpad.dev where we can use it. You find both links down in the video description below and you are able to test them yourself. The second news of the day, Rody Davis announced yesterday his new widget studio that it is published on App Store for Mac. So you can download now the widget studio which was available online also for on the App Store and it works pretty good. So if you want to take a look how you can add very easily widgets to your widget tree and download the files that you need, you can take his examples for them. The package of the week is Flutter Modal Bottom Sheet. Why should you use a different approach than show model field? Well, you have a better Cupertino support. You will have the possibility to have multiple modals on top of each other. You have the possibility of a bar modal and you have much more power about the whole thing. Additionally, it will work fine with scroll views and that makes it very impactful and usable for you. So check it out. And last but not least, we want to talk about code pen of the week. And today we have not one, we have multiples. Yeah, there is a user called Mariana Sorilia, and as you can see, he creates stunning different clones from websites that you know already, like for example, a Spotify clone. And this is fully fledged in Flutter, which is fantastic. You will find all the links down in the video description below. So there's one where he cloned Spotify, another one where he's cloned Slack, IMDB movies, Twitter, Flutter WhatsApp, Flutter Uber clone. There is a lot of showcases of Flutter that he cloned. It is like ridiculous in which speed and in which quality he provides these things. So if you want to learn more about Flutter, how to create all these different UIs, check it out because he makes a fantastic work. That's it for today's episode of Flutter News. Thank you so much for joining. It was a very short episode. As always, you find two videos up there. If you haven't subscribed yet, you find a picture here. And thank you so much for joining us today. Until the next time. See you guys.